Hi, I'm Steve Bergeron, and I want to welcome you to this edition of OmahaBrides.com video broadcast. This is a series of interviews where we interview local wedding vendors to help our brides and grooms better plan for their weddings and receptions. We're here today with Russell G. Linderman of Regal Photography. Russ has been a wedding photographer since 1976. He's also a member of three different professional photography organizations and was the Nebraska Photographer of the Year back in 1994. I love the enthusiasm that Russ brings to every wedding that he does. He's always been a pleasure to work with and I'm looking very forward to this interview. And don't forget at the end, Russ will have some tips and advice to help you better plan for your wedding reception when it comes to finding the perfect wedding photographer. Welcome to Omaha Brides video broadcast. As promised, we're here with Russ Lindemann with Regal Photography. How are you, Russ? I'm doing good, Steve. You know, I want to first point out, you have been a wedding photographer since 1976, long correct? Long time, long time. What's an old guy like you know anything about modern day photography? You know, we uh, do a lot of uh, continuing education and uh, really try and keep up with all the latest trends in the business. Uh, this photojournalistic style has really gotten us uh, re-excited about wedding photography. You know, you, you, you mentioned style there. That's an important uh, point to bring out here is that there's all kinds of styles when it comes to photography, but we've what been, do you mean style? We've been trained in a formal portraiture, but uh, that your traditional style where the, the formal groupings uh, are still important. The, the parents and grandparents still want that. So we combine that with the new contemporary candid st style of photojournalistic photography. Yeah, and, and you know one of the interesting things that you know through talking to you that I've that I've discovered is that you know a lot of these candid or photojournalistic type of photography, you like to say they're they're more of a structured uh, photojournalistic style. Right? Yeah, you what don't do you want just it? snapshots. You don't want yeah. shots of people's uh, back of their heads. Uh, we we like to do a posed candid where we direct a little bit, so we're getting great expressions even though they look like candids where you're not looking at the camera. Yeah, absolutely, and I. Think think that you know when you look at a wedding album those those the combination of some of the posed and the candids it's just a wonderful way to tell it really the helps story. To tell the story very well yes tell the story uh -huh. of the wedding day and I've seen some of your pictures and I just love them I and one of the things that I admire about your photos is that you get real creative in a lot of the stuff that you do I mean you look like you have a good time doing this yeah with digital that's uh, allowed us to be very creative yeah. doing different things that we're not able to do with film before yeah, and, and when you uh, and and the other thing is you can look right at the image right away. And it is. It helps you you know decide if you got the shot or not. So it's very helpful. Yeah. And you know, is, speaking of digital and and all this, let's talk briefly about equipment. I've DJed a lot of receptions out there, and I've seen all kinds of photography equipment. Um, talk about the importance of having good camera gear. Uh, with digital now, we've been digital for about ten years now. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a difference in the type of lens quality that you're able to get with the professional style. Is a three thousand dollar lens is not going to give you a, a much better image quality than the hundred dollar lens that come in the consumer base camera kits. Yeah, and, and um, you know, I know that uh, you know when you go out there and you're purchasing this equipment for you for you, for the professional photographers out there, that's quite an investment that you guys are putting down for this. It is, but uh, you know, if you're going to do this, uh, you know, seriously, you've got to have the type of equipment that's going to allow you to get the images that the bride wants. Yeah, and, and speaking of doing this seriously, I know one of the things you take seriously is some of the groups that you're involved with uh, in photography. Talk right. a little bit about those, what the advantages are to being in the groups. Sure, we belong to the Professional Photographers of America and the Wedding Professional Photographers International. These are groups that do a lot of continuing education, but uh, more importantly, they involve the uh, liability insurance uh, that comes with it protecting the consumer in case yeah. there's any problems with the processing or any of that type of thing. Yeah, and it's almost uh, for the brides and grooms out there planning receptions when they're getting a photographer, being a member of this organization sort of gives them a lot of peace of mind knowing that, you know, should anything happen, and I know it's rare that anything ever does, but that they are protected. Absolutely. Even by belonging to our local organizations like Professional Photographers of Greater Omaha, yeah. you've got a network of professionals that can back you up in case there's any problem with illness or accident, that type of thing. And, and I think the other thing, what I've discovered about these groups, is that one of the most important things that you guys do is this continuing education, which I assume is real important with the way technology changes. It is. Our business changes uh, almost uh, monthly, and uh, you've got to stay up on what's going on in the industry to be able to get of the bride, uh, you know, the most contemporary type of uh, wedding that she's looking for. Absolutely. You know, I joked when we opened up this interview by calling you the old man, you know, who's been doing this since 1976. But, I mean, truly, you, you really can't put a price on that kind of an experienced person going out to do your wedding. Um, I ask this question of photographers a lot. I say, look, 
you know, putting yourself in the shoes of a bride, this bride is going to be spending a majority of her day with you. Um, the wedding ceremony, uh, before and after, during the reception. And I always tell our brides, you know, make sure you find a photographer that you genuinely like. How important is that? It's very important. We, we're spending maybe a better part of a year with this couple, you know, between the initial meetings, the engagement pictures, the bridal portraits. By the time the wedding gets here, we've become very good friends, uh, lifelong friends, and uh, I can go up to them the day of the wedding and be very comfortable with them because we've got to know each other very well. Um, I want to thank you so much for this interview. Good information today, Russ. Thanks, Thanks a lot. You bet. We'll see you out on the weddings. Uh, stay tuned. In a few moments, we're going to have Russ with a few tips for the brides and grooms out there on uh, finding the right wedding photographer. Hi, I'm Russell Lindemann with Regal Photography, here with a few tips to help you in choosing the right photographer for your big day. Tip number one, decide what photography style you want for your wedding. Do you prefer the more formal, traditional style or the newer, contemporary style of photojournalistic candid? Most brides choose a photographer that can provide both. Make sure you look at the photographer's sample albums to help you decide on a style. Tip number two, make sure your photographer uses the latest professional quality equipment. A $100 lens will not produce the same quality images as a $3,000 lens will. Tip number three, make sure your photographer has professional liability insurance. Your big day is too important and cannot be redone. Tip number four, there's no substitute for experience. Choose a photographer that does 20 to 30 weddings a year as a full-time business. You won't get the same results from a weekend shooter that does a handful of weddings on a part-time basis. Good luck with your wedding planning and in choosing your wedding photographer.